What's going on, everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here, and welcome to UL Exchange. If you guys are new to this channel, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification on your way in. By that being said, guys, today's interesting topic is about what Brad Garlinghouse said, where he said all XRP is already created and Ripple is interested in purchasing FTX or acquiring FTX. By that being said, guys, let's just get straight into the video. Brad Garlinghouse says all XRP is created. We all know this because when you create a cryptocurrency or well, not all cryptocurrencies are created equally, you know, to begin to start it off with, but... He was speaking on an interview on CNBC and he stated that, of course, XRP has no comparison between Bitcoin, Ethereum and all these other so-called cryptocurrencies. XRP is created differently and, of course, all of XRP tokenomics is 100 billion quantity or total supply. And the circulating supply is close to around 50 billion, I can quickly verify that, give you guys the exact amount of numbers which is in circulating supply. Oh well, the total supply is 99 billion, and of course the circulating supply is 50.30 billion. So 50% of the max supply, which being 100 billion, we have 50% of the circulating supply. And I already talked about a 100 billion XRP is incomparable to the price of it being 37 cents. It makes no sense for the price to be at 37 cents. And there's no way to use only 100 billion XRP tokens when the debt of the United States alone is over 32 or 33 trillion dollars. It makes no sense. That's why the price has to be very high. So he stated saying that all XRP tokens are already completed. By that being said, already created and none can be created or edited out unless those fees become and then the supply gets shorter and shorter over time which is at the end of the day good for us when the supply gets shorter the demand is more but also the price increases as well you see with shiba and you decreasing the supply was around 532 uh, quadrillion or trillion if i'm not mistaken but still that's such a huge number compared to the prices was over five zeros now and XRP is only 100 billion supply. And when the quantity or the supply decreases, just imagine the price skyrocketing high. So now let's get straight into, I'll play a little clip of what he said. But after that, we'll get into the FTX acquisition. So let me just roll the clip right now. It's actually an investment contract. And, you know, it, 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 a security is something where you, if when you buy it, you own part of a company. You have a, a right to the, the profits. You can vote on the, the board of directors of that company. Uh, all those things that are, you know, certainly CNBC covers in depth. That isn't true with XRP. You know, if you buy XRP, you you don't have uh, a, a ownership of Ripple. And, I mean, ironically, you actually have XRP owners who have tried to right. sue the SEC for Brad, even bringing the case. Brad, what's the total number? It's, it's billions, obviously. And, and you you do have a lot that hasn't been mined yet and, and can control when some of it is mined. Is, is that That's correct, is it not? No, that's not right. The way XRP works is fundamentally different than the, the mining contract, the way you're describing it. So proof of work is works. That's how Ether has it worked. It's kind of migrating to proof of stake. The XRP ledger uses something called consensus algorithm. And so all of the XRP ever created is 100 billion units. Ripple owns a lot. And so that's on account of our treasury. And we can control right. how we sell it to customers. But there's right. no more XRP that can be created. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about what he said, what your thoughts are about what he said as well, and what you guys think is the future headed for XRP. But that being said, let's get into what he said or what Brad Garlinghouse said about FTX. Quote, he said, Brad Garlinghouse, who runs the crypto cross-border payment firm Ripple said he would pick over the carcass, the carcass of FTX and would be interested in buying the parts that served business customers. What is he interested in buying? Pay attention to these word plays. He's interested in buying the parts that served the business customers as well as a stake in other companies. There are about 100 companies affiliated with FTX alone. So think of how much business that will come up with or how much XRP or Ripple parent company will benefit from these so-called FTX business acquisitions. And Garlinghouse also said that FTX 
disgraced founder <laughs> and former CEO Sam Bankman Freed or Fried called him on the Wednesday before it went bust as he sought to round up investors to rescue his business. He described his mood as quote unquote chipper despite the dire situation. So we all know Sam Bankman Freed does not care. We already know that Sam Bankman Freed does not care about his investors, does not care about where the price of FTX was going. And that's why Brad Gunninghouse said when he expressed his so called feelings, that's how Sam Bankman Freed reacted just nonchalant, you know, just like, okay, hey, are you interested in buying this or can we get some money? Very, very interesting. And as Ripple is considering to buy FTX, is considering to buy the assets of FTX. So guys, let's not let's wrap our heads around what does FTX have? Connections, as we know through all this Democratic Party, all this paying off so-called charitable donations to political leaders, FTX has connections. This connection will allow Garlinghouse to strategically scale the company which aims to continue its growth even during the ongoing bear market. As I told you guys, Ripple is the only one that's continuing to grow even during this so-called six months to one year bear market we're having. And Garlinghouse, of course, was among the few that FTX called up and asked for funds, which he got denied, of course. And in August, Ripple said it was interested in buying the failed cryptocurrency lender Celsius. Very, very smart individual Brad Garlinghouse going after the assets of FTX over 100 companies as discussed. And it was interested in buying Celsius in August of 2022, as now we're in November 2022. So that just goes to show what Brad Garlinghouse truly thought or thought of FTX and the so-called 100 business acquisitions was FTX. Very, very interesting, guys. Ripple is currently enmeshed in a grueling legal battle with the SEC, which is also expected to end in the first quarter of 2023. So where do you think all these play alongs, the words, but also the play alongs of the timeline, time frame, and what could happen if Ripple acquires FTX business lenders or focuses on the business acquisition and get the parts of the business customers. Where do you guys think the future of Ripple could be headed? Where do you guys think the future of FTX could be headed? Could that name be changed into something else? Or would Ripple own the world or own the whole cryptocurrency market cap when it comes to buying up all these died or undead cryptocurrencies that have potential to go? That's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate y'all for tuning into UL Exchange. Again, if you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up. That's the best way to beat the YouTube algorithm and spread this news across the YouTube platform. And by that being said, guys, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Peace out.